Hey BC, Matt here. Hope everyone's having a good night. Just thought I'd check in and do a video. Uh, haven't really got anything new except for one record I'll show here in a second. Uh, just wanted to check in and and uh, ramble on about some stuff. Uh, first off, we'll get to the uh, record, I guess. Um, me and Mr. Mayo Joe had shown this on his uh, channel a couple of times, and I thought it was kind of cool thing, so I got a copy of it. But I'm um, not too happy because um, I think this was a limited edition of a thousand on green vinyl, and then I guess they made uh, additional copies past that uh, colored vinyl run. So, Bride of Frankenstein, uh, 1935 film music by Franz Waxman, a uh, great movie. Saw it uh, just a few months ago, I guess it was probably around Halloween. Uh, supposed to be on green vinyl is what it was advertised as. I got this through uh, eBay actually because it's out of print I suppose. But um, no green vinyl, just black vinyl. Cool uh, cool pictures on the uh, labels there. And the music is great. Uh, it's just uh, orchestral film score. But it's good stuff. You've got a uh, uh, monster entrance, uh, dance macabre, the tower explodes, uh, the village chase. So uh, some cool titles there. Also comes with a poster. Uh, but I uh, will. Okay, there's a two-sided poster there. There's some information about the uh, movie and the soundtrack, and there's the uh, soundtrack, and there's the. Uh, I guess that's a. Recreate, recreate, uh, recreation of the um, movie poster, but uh, it's not that big of a deal not being on green vinyl. It's just that that's what I thought I was getting, so I'm not too happy about that. So I have uh, emailed the person I bought it from to see what I can work out there. They didn't have a phone number on their site, which uh, is never a good sign. But anyway, so uh, listen to it though. Good music. Uh, I just would like to have had the uh, green vinyl ed edition, but we'll see what happens there. So, what else? The other thing, my YouTube, I don't know if anyone is going through this problem, but um, my YouTube, I can go to it and I click on, uh, there's on the um, left-hand corner where the little YouTube logo is, there's a little three bars and I'd go there and I'd click on and it would pull down a menu and I could go to uh, my subscriptions to see videos that people have posted that I subscribe to, check and see what everyone's up to. Well, you click on it right now and it doesn't do anything. And when you pull up just YouTube, the main page, it shows videos and has the titles, but it, the little box that usually has a screenshot of the video is just a blank white box. So what you have to do is go to the upload click that like you're going to upload a video and then from there you can go to the menu and get to videos but once you get to the videos you can watch them and I just uploaded another video to see if it would work and that worked but you can watch the videos but when you go down to the comment section it's just that little swirling circle thing going around and around and the comment section never comes up so I don't know what to do. I've tried to, uh, I've signed off of YouTube and signed back on. YouTube and Google, it's all the same thing now. I've uh, hit the refresh button. And so uh, I even went into my uh, email from when someone would comment on my video and click some of the older comments and it'll take me to my video. But the same thing, the video plays fine, but it's just the little round and round thing and it, the comments never come up. So I haven't, uh, this started about a week ago and uh, so I haven't really got any uh, uh, email alerts from anyone making comments on my video I don't know whether probably no one's made any comments because I haven't made any uh, in, a, in, a, in a little bit but uh, somebody subscribed and I got a, a email alert for that and thanks for the subscription by the way but uh, so the long and short of it is I can't read comments because I can't get to them, I can't see them. So if anyone has uh, commented on any of my videos and I haven't answered, it's not because I don't 
care or I'm being rude or anything. I just, I don't have any way that I can figure out to get to them, uh, which is uh, annoying because um, I've also watched some videos. Uh, Rock Boy watched a couple of your videos, uh, reviews and, and uh, vinyl pickups, wanted to leave comments, and I don't have any way to do it. Um, Adam Lee, I watched a video you were talking about uh, having some um, health problems, and uh, certainly in my thoughts and prayers there, I'm hoping everything works out okay on, on that uh, end. Really sorry to hear that. Um, I just enjoy watching your videos, and you always comment on mine, and, and so I'm just wishing the best for you. Um, so, uh, I don't know. Until that works out, I really don't know uh, if anybody comments. I, I just, if it's going to pop up in my email or not, I don't know yet. And uh, even if it does, when I go to the video, oh, I guess I can read it through the email, but um, hoping. But uh, so, um, I usually like to uh, leave comments on videos after I watch them. Just says, you know, it's a cool record or good job or have a good day or whatever. So I haven't been doing that because I haven't been able to. So anyway, and Robert Z, I saw the video where you got the uh, Amazon gift card, and that's great. I'm glad that that got to you okay. Uh, kind of curious to see what you use it for. Uh, like you said in the video there, you were saying, uh, which is why I showed this at the beginning of the video, which again, I don't know if I said that, but this is uh, one of my favorite album covers of the last uh, recent few years. I really like that which is one of the reasons I bought this album. But uh, you were saying with the gift card you might get Porcupine Tree, one of their albums, and we're asking if I am aware of them. I've heard of them. I've never heard them. But I know that this guy, Stephen Wilson, is in the band or the leader of the band or has something to do with the band. I bought this record, which came out, I think this was last year, uh, just because it kept popping up. A, I thought the cover was really cool, but it kept popping up. Uh, a lot of people were buying it and playing it and you know, posting it as now playing and had good things to say about it. So I listened to some little um, song clips from it, liked what I heard, went out and bought it. It's a double album on vinyl, um, kind of out of my comfort zone. It's gets a mix of prog rock and just a whole bunch of other things, uh, but I really, really enjoy it. So um, I do know Stephen Wilson, and this is the Raven that. Uh, didn't want to drive his car so he bought a bus pass or what's this thing called the raven that refused to sing I was close so yeah anyway uh, that's really all I have to say I just wanted to check in I hope everyone's doing well uh, hope things are getting better for you there Adam um, if, if anybody has uh, commented on my videos or emailed me uh, I don't know what's up with YouTube I can't get to the comments section so if you don't hear from me or if I don't comment on your videos, that's what's going on. Um, nothing else, really. I haven't bought any new records. I've just been really busy with work. Uh, the Frankenstein thing I got in, and like I said, I got it through eBay. Uh, great music. Not happy with the uh, advertised green vinyl showing up not being green vinyl, but that's life, I guess. I'll see what I hear from the seller there. And I'm hoping it's pouring down rain outside. Been doing that all day, which is great because this is Texas and it's about to be 180 degrees for the next four or five months, which I don't like at all. So I'm enjoying it while it's here. Hope everyone has a good uh, week and uh, I'll try to do a update soon. See you all and have a good, good week.